Hello and welcome to Joy in Our Town. Joining me today is Mr. Obi Bassi. He is the director for ARM, which stands for Adult Rehabilitation Ministry. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Talk to us about ARM. Um, how long have you all been serving the community? ARM has been in existence for 28 years. Um, we've been serving men in a residential way for 28 years. And wow. last year, we, we started serving women. And so now we do women inpatient as well. You do. Wow. 28 years is such a long time. 28 years. Congratulations. I'm glad Thank that you're you. here. Um, unfortunately, this is a big need in our community right now. It is. Substance abuse is has been a problem in our country for years. And now with opiate addiction and things like that, it's, it's an underserved need in our country. Do you feel like accessibility has grown quite a bit over the over the years? It has for for middle America, but what we do, we serve the population in in the urban communities where a lot of people can't afford to go to treatment. Treatment is thousand dollars a day, and we're able to serve our population at ten dollars a day. And we look for sponsors, okay. and we do a full service treatment center for people even if they can't afford it. I see. So that's what we do. Okay. Well, we have a little something for our audience to watch. Okay. Take a look. So this is living. Every single day is like a blessing we've been given. I keep my scars hidden behind the bars of this prison. I keep my flaws tucked right behind my front, sucking up this blunt. I don't give up. Hey, what's up? How you been? Cool, man. I'm doing me. Chiller than the Arctic, but burning like a third degree. I'm open like a surgery. I'm searching for a crutch. It's as natural as putting antiseptic on a cut. Heal me. I fiend for my fix. There's a void on the inside. I fill it up with fluff to avoid where my sins lie. I'm talking puppy dogs and ice cream. Caffeine, nicotine, puffing on a pipe dream. Daddy needs a new pair of anything. Maybe you relate. Lay your head upon my pillow, wake up with a clean slate. I thought that if I found out who I was, away from anything I'd ever tried to use to catch a buzz, I would build a better me. So I did, delving into all the hurt I had hid since a kid. Anytime I felt the urge, I would hold on. I want to reach the other side. My goal is to be headstrong when right feels dead wrong, when night feels too long, when life feels too long, when hindsight is blinding and reminding us to hold on. You're not alone. We've all been there together. We're facing the storm because bad weather ain't forever. We're breaking the norm to see if maybe there is more, but we'll never know until we're on the other side of that door. I don't want to use you for anything, abuse you for anything, or lose you to anything. Love is not obsession. There are no strings attached, so I can't love you if I'm like, yeah, but there's a catch. I want freedom from desire because this moment is real. They speak about courage, but they don't own how they feel. I want to scream truth just to hear it echo back. I don't need your validation. This is truly where I'm at. See, this poem is for the lost and the found who've been tossed to the ground who've been crossed by their friends. Get up, stand your ground again. Make your heart the strongest muscle that you've got. Then let it guide you in the dark till you reach the other side. Watching that gives you such a clear picture of what it must feel like um, to walk in the shoes of an addict um, obviously, if we've never experienced it ourselves, we 
can't really say we understand it completely, um, but to hear the emotions in the words and in the visuals of that, I think kind of helps us understand a little bit more um, of the pain and then to see the joy at the end and the hope at the end. And I feel like maybe that's where ARM comes into play is to bring that hope, um, to provide them with that light at the end of their tunnel, if you will. Talk to us about your success. How do you all measure that when you're working with somebody who has addiction? Well, we measure success. We, we're a nonprofit organization, but we're part of the church. We, we look for a complete transformation. Addiction is, it just completely destroys lives and they're powerless. They're at the lowest point of their lives and not only the individuals, but their families as well. And so we measure success when we see our clients come in and they get clean and they become fully functioning and we see their families restored as well. And you all partner with the local with local churches or a particular yes. one? Yes, with several, but uh, ARM is a, is a ministry of Golden Gate Missionary Baptist Church. It started out as an outreach uh, and street ministry going out and feeding the homeless, and it just grew into a nonprofit, and now we're a residential ministry, but we are arm of the church, if you will. Oh, I love that. You're an arm of the church. Yes. I think that's really cool how that kind of plays into um, the local church. I love that you all have taken responsibility um, and that you have found a place to um, allow the local church to be a presence in the community in such a powerful way. Can you talk to our audience a little bit about your view on the importance of the local church doing ministry like this? We believe that the, that the church is the change agent. Uh, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of great programs uh, around our country, but we believe that, that having Christ and biblical principles as a part of the program is what makes us have our success. Last year, our success rate was 78%. Uh, 78% of our clients that enter into our program completed the program. And the national average is 2%. And so we, we contribute that to the grace of God. Absolutely, His grace is always sufficient. And again, I think it's great that your church has taken this responsibility on, that ARM has been around for as long as it has been. Right. Um, and it's even more wonderful to hear that now you are um, reaching your arm out to the women in the community as yeah. well who are suffering from addiction. We have a little more for our audience to watch, so let's take a look. Okay. My name's Darren Lowe. I was a drug addicted addict. I didn't have no sense of purpose. I was totally lost. But through Arms Ministry, I've learned to be honest. I've learned to be open-minded. And I've also le learned to be willing. I've changed my way of thinking because my best thinking landed me here. And for his purpose, I have been raised up to show his power. That his name be proclaimed in all of the earth. I hurt a lot of people, hurt my family, but most of all, I hurt myself. But through Obi Bussey, Stephen James, and my brethren here in Arms Ministry, I have learned a lot and I have changed my ways. All praise and glory to God. Thank you. But for his purpose, I have been raised up to show his power so that his name may be proclaimed in all the earth. I'm Jacob Buckenheiser. Came to the Arms Program in March of this year. Uh, came for addiction. And my life had was became unmanageable, and knowing that uh, I'm a man that needed direction in my life, that uh, addiction overcame my life. And with the Arms Ministry, they showed me a new direction how to become a man of God. I lost my family, I lost my children, I lost everything. But with the Amherst ministry, he showed me how to become a man of God. Started going back to church, started reading my Bible, started being more involved in the community. And I thank God for that lifestyle change that God has given me, showing me grace through his power, through his love, and through his 
Almighty, how he's given me that grace to move on, to move forward, and to be the man that he wants me to be. It's always so powerful to hear the testimonies of those who have been through programs like this and to hear um, how it's affected their lives. How long does it normally take for them to go through your program? We have a three-phase program. Our first phase is a six-month program. One of the unique things that we do is the first four months, they don't work, they don't leave the premises. They, we just focus on individual counseling, group counseling. They participate in the life of the church. They sing in the choir. They go to prayer meeting. And then after six months, after the second two months, then they complete phase one. If they need a place to stay in and then they can continue and stay up to a year, excuse me. And then relapse is always a part of, of addiction. And so we have a relapse intervention phase for our program that if our clients go out and they relapse for whatever reason, they can come back and we reassess them and get them back on the right path. I love that you already have that in place, that you know that, hey, we know that you're not perfect, we know you're gonna struggle, so we actually have this in place right. because we know this happens. It's part of the reality of the process. Um, I also love how you have them serving in the local church. You said right. you have them volunteering and doing things like being in the choir. How, um, how often do you have clients come back and want to be a part of the ministry? Our alumni, as we call them, are very active part of our program. We have about 50 active uh, alumni clients. They come back, they teach the AA and the NA meetings. We have a food drive where we serve about 100 families a week and they help package that food up and, and give it to the, um, uh, to the community. We have alumni breakfast uh, every Saturday. Matter of fact, in the morning at seven o'clock we have it. And we have about 50 men that have come through our program that have come back for Bible study and to fellowship and to eat. That's wonderful. Now, as the director of ARM, what would you say to our audience today about what the greatest needs are for this particular ministry? In, a non, in nonprofits, it's always volunteers. Um, we have several points of entry where volunteers can come, whether it's grant writing, whether it's coming and answering the phone, uh, teaching Bible study or AA, NA meeting, counseling, and so that's how small nonprofits keep their costs down, is using the community as volunteers. And it also gives the volunteers and the community the opportunity to serve. And we believe that the people that come and serve get as much benefit as we get from them. It's just gratifying to see life change. Yes, so for those watching today who are inspired, where can they reach you? They can just go to our website, there's applications, an application, I mean the website is armdallas.org, A-R-M Dallas.org. Well, I just want to say thank you again, um, Obi, for being here today um, and for what you all are doing in the community uh, to help, you know, the people who are wanting to become clean and wanting to live a different lifestyle and you provide hope. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you all today for watching us here at Join Our Town.